Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Tlilogolo Promise Rampa and this is Relocate to Australia with Promise. Guys, we've made it to the new year. Happy new year for those of you who have made it. If you're watching this video, it obviously means you've made it. So congratulations. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't think they were going to make it into this year, myself included. <laughs> because we were watching people fall off left, right and center. Jay, It was like RIP everywhere. Young people, old people, like people of all ages in Jay. So you guys, this was like... Yeah, you know in the Bible when they say yeah, the world is coming to an end. I for the first time I was like, I, maybe they are right. <laughs> it has been so rough these past couple of years, and I'm pretty sure we are all looking and hoping for a better year. You know, from 2022 going forward to have a good year. Anyway, I didn't want to go into that, guys. But happy New Year and congratulations that you made it. This is still your number one DIY relocation platform. This year, we're still going to be continuing with normal programming. I just want to finish off this dialogue. So I'm going to be doing June, July. I'm going to be uploading two videos back to back. And then we're going to get into August, September, October, November, December. I wanted to go on leave this January, but I think I did that in December. Like, I was having the time of my life. <laughs> I was having the time of my life. I had visitors. It was just so nice. My husband just kept on convincing me to watch movie after movie after movie. And I was like, you know what, promise? It's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. YouTube is still YouTube. It will be there even next year. So I was like, no, no pressure. So let me just finish off my dialogue. And then we're going to go into the seriousness of things. I'm hoping that you guys have made resolutions to relocate to Australia or wherever, Jay, in your life, wherever you want to go. I hope you have written it down because I always believe in writing things down because when it is written down, as Habakkuk 2 verse 2 says, write it down and make the vision clear. So I always believe in writing things down and making sure that, you know what, for as long as it came out of your mouth, for as long as you registered it in J in this world, God and your ancestors will recognize it. Anyways, you guys, I'm hoping that you did work on your resolutions. I started my year in October, so in J, I'm like two months ahead. So me, don't mind me. I'm just hoping that you guys did your resolutions and i hope you do commit to them and even if you don't commit to them like fully 100 percent but just give yourself an opportunity to try them out and fail at something new this year so i'm hoping that you are going to dream and you're going to live out your dreams this year but as you know guys the dream only works if you work it anyway guys i don't want to go into that let me just get straight into my dialogue because me i have yep too much eh? anyways you guys i'm gonna try minimizing yep yep too much this year it's not gonna happen no forget it i will continue yep yapping too much this year yes so let's get into my june dialogue <laughs> How many birds, Mara?
a short month it was my husband's birthday that is the highlight of it but we didn't really get to do anything special i'm thinking it is because may was a busy month for us and jay like we did so many things and when i spoke to my husband about it he was like you know what it's fine i'm just grateful for the life that i have as long as i have you guys i'm all good and i was like Perfect. <laughs> we did celebrate him though and we made it special here at home but we didn't do anything like ex extravagante like you all over the show and all of that it was just something small us as a family the one thing that i got reminded of this june me and my husband like doing this thing every friday we would always have takeaway on fridays like for me really in my family takeaways is on friday like we can have a takeaways we can have takeaways like during the week if like maybe the week is hectic or i'm tired or daddy's sick or somebody needs to be taken care of and you know like the schedule is just all over the place we do try and improvise and do all of that but usually Vele, it's very strict that we are having takeaways on friday so one of the other things that me and my husband did in order to kind of like develop our relationship and work on us we decided we're going to have lunch every friday so we have like lunch dates on on friday it is nothing special we just have them in the car i usually just pick up takeaway or i'll pick like some nice lunchy and then we'll have lunch together usually my husband and i do not get like us time because life is so busy you go to work and then when you get home it's the kids that's literally 30 minutes of us time on a friday and we cherish it and we we use it fully <laughs> it's one of the cheapest ways to show love and to just kind of like you know ask each other and consult eh, are you still good like are you still happy like do you still want to do this and it's like yeah sure it has really helped us to develop our relationship and i could not have asked for anything else like i'm like god just for that thank you and i always just say thank you to him i'm like dude me i would have never dated me yo you are so strong thank you <laughs> Good job. Good job. You did really good, baby. Oh.
other good thing that happened this month guys i got monetized on youtube i hit a thousand subscribers and then i got the watch hours that i needed for me to be monetized on this platform and i was just so proud of myself because let me tell you one thing like you know sometimes you tell people like what your dreams are and you're like hey this is what i'm thinking of doing and there were some people who were like to me why do you want to go to youtube like there's nothing there for you it is just too congested there everybody's there like why would you go do that and you look at the people that were actually saying that to me they ain't got nothing so i was like mm -mm, child i'm not gonna listen to these ones i'm so grateful and thankful to the friends who said to me you got this you can actually do this those are the people that i want to continue with in my life my husband is my number one fan from day one from the beginning he was like dude you got this you can do this so even this happening on his birth month i felt like yeah it was god and the ancestors saying child you got this so i was so proud of myself all the hard work and the sleepless nights and being tired and the planning like literally now the book that i started this channel with is this one look at the work like look at everything child like these are the last few pages left and that's for my dialogue and then closing it off and being like yep to a wonderful year that's it and then i'm gonna start a new book where i'm going to now be planning serious stuff so i'm so proud of myself that i actually responded to this calling for me to do this it is a lot of responsibility it is a lot of work but when i get messages from people who say to me promise i didn't know where to start and you really did help me for me i feel like yeah god thank you man thank you thank you so thank you to you guys also for subscribing and for liking and commenting and also interacting with me on my social media and keeping me accountable as well because it's so hard trust me it is so hard to do this thing but you guys always remind me why i started so thank you so much for that you guys <laughs> i know guys your children are your children and you always feel like they are beyonce and all of that but me i look at my children and i i see my rang and cool i'm like you are stars you are awesome <laughs> in all honesty like in everything that they do even if they're horrible at it i'm like you know what child you can work on it and you can be anything and everything you want to be in this world so getting to watch my children explore their talents if they have it and if they don't it's fine they know that they don't and then they can go look for something else but being in that process of watching them do it it's so amazing as a parent and i highly highly recommend that you know what if you've got a child be involved in your child's life it's one of the greatest blessings in this world no money can buy such moments yes money will enable such moments but no money can buy the authenticity the authenticity authenticity now the hoover now the english run away the authenticity of it yes no money will ever buy that for you like the genuineness of it like the purity of it no money can ever buy you that so if you've got children just you know just spend that 15 minutes where you're like dude what do you want to do let's do this or try that so that you can be able to explore what their talents are and help them grow into i just want them to be and for them to live their purpose whatever it is. the only thing that i know is that they were born through me and god trusted me enough to have them so that you guys can also experience them but i'm also experiencing them as well and it is such a bliss anyways guys goodbye i will see you in my next upload